Well, and Lindenwood holding the zone here. A couple opportunities and a score. Dave Gannon, we just mentioned his name, and he gets his eighth goal of the year. And Lindenwood on the board in 50 seconds in their debut in the realm. Playing hot potato there near the blue line. Now looking for another rebound goal and a score. That one, I think, snuck in off the back of DeRitter. McLaughlin, Blake, and then Reese Gaber, the junior out there. Blake, of course, just getting in. Farmer unleashes one and another goal. It's Randy Goals in 2023. And number three has one. Ty Farmer who grew up about 12 miles from the campus of Lindenwood, lights the lamp on a big goal for North Dakota. Well, it's a great job by Gaber just to peel back and create some separation. And then you got Farmer coming off the bench, and he's just going to throw this on frame. I believe it hits off the Lindenwood defenseman in front, but a good job there by Gaber to just allow that play to develop. And then it's a shot with some bodies and traffic in front. So an unfortunate bounce for North Dakota on that second goal with DeRitter going off of him, but Farmer making his mark. Hey, that's his first goal at UND, and boy, what a time to pick it up. Teeny. And here comes Sturzer. Sturzer snipes it. And Lindenwood is busting this one open early tonight. A 3-1 lead. Well, they'll get up and down the ice. Like, I think the biggest thing the coach says that you know, opportunity there is centering clearing attempt and now North Dakota with a great chance backhand pass boy how about that feed from Schmoltz to Blake but Burnham there to gobble it up it's left in the power play Caulfield back to Frisch that one swatted in by Clevin on a one-timer Tyler Clevin with his second goal of the season well, why, why, what makes this second unit so special is you got a double threat up top. You got Frisch up top going over to one side, and then you got Clevin. We're going to ISO in on Clevin. Excellent work here by our camera crew. Watch him as this whole thing develops. Watch him time this. He gets in. Again, look at He's going to sit here, and he's going to lurk back. He's going to make sure he stays open, and look at his eyes. Watch him. He knows right where he's going with this. He's got that big, heavy one-timer. Ethan Frisch puts that right in the wheelhouse for Tyler Clevin's second goal of the city. Tim Walsh is. Here comes the opportunity for North Dakota. Jamernick sends it in, and it's gloved out of the air by Burnham. It's with 1.4 seconds for some of the high-enders for Lindenwood. Gannon and Johannes. Here's an opportunity for Dylan James, a freshman. It's going to be a wholesale change. See if you can't get this thing, stretch that ice and create something. Port centers it. Back is Albrecht. Another chance. All these players and the, the impact this program has, they just do things the right way. Caulfield centering pass. Rebound coming out to Jandrick. Oh, boy. Burns on a heater. Field can do, and when he's using it, he's very effective. Caulfield over to Cooper Moore. Ooh, good save. He tried to open it up and go back. Got down, now Strinan with it again. Strinan, can he get it over to Ports in time? Ports all alone, and a goal! <laughs> Nick Ports with his second goal of the season, and it ties this one up with 13 minutes to play. Well, what a play here. You're going to find it. Look at the job there by Strindon just to strip that puck to set in Ports. Ports does a good job of anticipating a turnover there. It's all one right there, though, and it's a great feed. Look at him just corral that puck, settle it down as it was bouncing a little bit. You got Burnham down, so we're going to go up over that blocker. It's a great play for Ports' his second goal of the season. Maybe a sigh of relief there as Lindenwood was just continually playing this with Strindon. Here comes Sendin, Hayne to his right. Hayne on the backhand, trying to gather the puck and gets a side equalizer. Sidorski calling for it instead. It's handed off to Gaber. Gaber on the rebound, McLaughlin. Oh, what a save! He saves that with his stick. That's a save right there from Trent Burnham. Holy wow! Holy smoke. Couple of opportunities Careful. here. Careful. Right and here. here's another breakaway for Lindenwood. And oh boy, fanning on the attempt. But here's Irvin. Oh, another one trying to be on Elbrick. Back and forth hockey, this is good stuff. Ports over to Frisch from the slot, and that shot goes high up. Nearly hit the netting, and stick. Blake has to 
wait in the neutral zone to avoid the outsides. McLaughlin again, right into the wickets. Nice, Saubrick back to Strindon. Strindon trying to fight through a check, he does. Strindon with an opportunity. Will he go back to Ports? He fires a shot and burn him. Back to McLaughlin. Sends it in, rebound opportunity. Loose puck, Frisch has it. One time with Clevin, he did it again! And Tyler Clevin gives North Dakota the lead with a power play goal, his second of the game. Wow, has he been good here tonight? He strikes again, it's almost a carbon copy of the first power play goal. Right now it stands as the game winner if they can hang on. But how about this? You're gonna see a shot, it's a great save. It gets deflected in front, but a good job. Look at the patience out of Ethan Frisch. Rather than just throw that thing down, he throws that again right into the wheelhouse of Clevin. Two things gotta happen to make that. It starts with the patient play of not just getting it too overly excited if you're Ethan Frisch to just try and jam another puck there. What's he do? He settles it down, and then he's got to put that pass in the absolute perfect spot so you can get it to Clevin in the wheelhouse. So we right there in traffic. Gannon trying to take it away. Time ticking away, and time will run out. And North Dakota, after trailing the entire game, scores in the final three minutes. A power play tally by Tyler Clevin, his second of the game, and it's the game winner tonight. A big 4-3 victory for North Dakota, who couldn't afford to lose, and they get